hope and I wish that you're doing okay. I want us to go back to the old days because I miss you. guys well i'm doing the rows really interestingly i don't even know if that's a word i'm doing them kind of weirdly right now um i'm kind of aiming it more towards my upper back so i can hit my lats then my upper back uh we're not really going to be super setting it we're just going to be taking small breaks in between exercise break exercise and then we're going to go in a cycle uh see how we feel after that we're going to hit biceps after this a little back and by day today then uh yeah, you know, we're probably just gonna hit a chest day or a leg day one of these days here. And um, yeah, that's it. Honestly, I'm not even gonna do another set. One solid set of that absolutely obliterated my biceps and I killed my back today. We're gonna be sore tomorrow, folks. That's for damn sure, but we're feeling good. We're feeling very good. I wrapped the hell out of my wrist with masking tape. That's painter's tape. I legit wrapped my, hang on, with this right here. This is what I wrapped my wrist with. It's literally, Automated masking tape. It's meant for like painting and stuff. So, gotta do what you gotta do. Tape's tape, you know? It worked pretty damn good today, so I'm gonna use up this whole entire roll. And then I'm gonna have to get another one probably, cause I just missed my bag, uh, because it works amazing, so. You know what, we're done. We're gonna show you guys what we're eating for dinner. It's already, what time is it? I don't know if you guys can see that. It says 10.23, right there. I don't know if it shows or not. 10.34, we're gonna go inside killed my back and biceps today. My wrists were definitely gonna have to ice it. Um, I don't feel it at the moment because it is wrapped up, but once we take it off, buddy ain't gonna be feeling too hot. So W lift, we're gonna go inside. Oh, my chicken soup's cold. <laughs> All right, guys, so basically we're just gonna, I guess, finish up with a little bit of back, biceps, and my throw triceps and shoulders in there. Literally just doing a full body workout today. I was trying to do barbell squats, and I can never do barbell squats, and the reason why is because my knee always hurts. I tried it, and now my knee hurts, so I'm gonna never do barbell squats ever again, because whenever I do it, I always fuck it up. But uh, we're gonna finish off with a little upper body, because I just absolutely obliterated my knees on that, so. Uh, I guess lesson learned, never hit legs in the home gym. So yeah, this is my upper body. It's gonna sick as pump.
right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed like those little cinematic. They weren't really cinematics, but they're more just gym edits, I guess we could call them. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're going to be including more of those in the videos, but I just want to let you guys know that one, we are on a new lens right now. We're going to talk about that here in a second. And two, look at this bad boy. We got a new camera. Look at that. This is the Sony a6700. Right now we're shooting on a Canon. Um, we're, making, we're making a move from Canon to Sony because, you know, just so much more to offer on the Sony cameras. And like this grip, bro, is insane. Like this thing ain't falling out of my hand. This thing's got AI shit in it. It's crazy. You're going to see a little bit better quality with me. Motherfucker. Can't even talk. You're going to see a little bit better quality in the videos. You know, um, I'm going to try to get down the color grading stuff, but we got our meal right here. We have chicken parm, 8.5 ounces of chicken parm. And we have about like a one and a half cups of rice, white rice. So that's what we're eating today for lunch. I was going to make the protein pancakes, but we didn't do it today. So, oh my gosh, bro. So good. But guys, we're going to get into the rest of the video. We're going to do some more gym edits, whatever. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys like it in the comment section. We're going to keep these videos more simple so we can put out more content for you guys and just, you know, be a, as original as we possibly can. Just do what we like doing and what you guys like doing. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. We're just probably going to end it off. We're not going to talk that much anymore. So, yeah, let's go Future Max. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten Feel the earth move and then Hear my heart burst again For this is the end I've drowned and dreamt this moment So overdue I owe a day Swept away I'm stolen Let the sky fall And it crumbles We will stand I'm honest with you guys um i haven't been consistent with these uploads and i'm not gonna sit sit here and basically tell you guys that i'm trying to focus quality over quantity or whatever these guys say um recently i've just been trying to focus on myself and try to get you know my instagram back up and running a little bit we had a little bit of a decrease in the followers because of me not really getting in the gym as much you know just it, it's so much stuff but dealing with the injury and stuff like that or injuries i should say um put me back a little bit but now we're back on the grounds again we're gonna start um pushing out more content on the youtube and we got a whole bunch of plans for that but you guys are just gonna have to stay tuned for that and i apologize for the not really so consistent videos i've been trying to get videos out i think it's only been like three four weeks since i uploaded my last youtube video performed really good um but we're gonna you know start putting out some more content and i think we're gonna do weekly if not maybe bi-weekly and we're just gonna try to slowly pace back into it but um the reason why i am set up right here um so it's april 4th i'm probably gonna get this video out maybe monday it's gonna be like april 7th or 8th or something like that so i just want to show you guys a couple of things we've been getting into photo or videography cinematics whatever you want to call it got this filter it's kind of cool looking it's got a little red tint on there that's kind of cool. Um, we actually got a package, so you guys wait for that. We're gonna open that up here in a second. But these ice drinks right here, I don't know if it's gonna focus. These ice drinks, Starburst flavors, these things are so amazing, bro. I don't know what it is about them. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start opening up this package. Take a guess what it is. No, it's not another filter, it's a lens. So I haven't been the most consistent with these uploads. Um, but we're going to start getting back on track. It's not a bad lens. If you guys are familiar with camera gear, it's a Sigma. We're going to go ahead and take this guy out here. I think this one was like, 
1835 f1.8 this guy is packing a serious punch man uh you get the low aperture so it's good in low light situations like the gym outside in the garage and you get a little zoom on it at a four-year warranty we'll take it now this is a pretty hefty lens pretty chunk pretty chunk but basically right now we are filming on a i think it's a 16 millimeter this guy right here is going to be an 18 millimeter damn this boy is heavy dude this is going to be an 18 millimeter to a 35 millimeter but it's gonna be better low light. So we're gonna go ahead and actually slap this guy on, but here's the lens reveal right here. Look at that boy, it's a big lens. Like this is probably pushing, not five pounds. It's probably like two pounds, maybe. I think this got broken on the way here, but it still works, hopefully. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this guy on real quick. All right, we are on the new lens. I think, Oh my gosh, I thought I just broke my computer. Um, I think the image quality is definitely increased. I can see the enhanced brightness. That's due to the low aperture. I'm gonna teach you guys something real quick. So the low aperture says like f1.8 or something. The closer it is to one, I, I personally think the better it is. Um, but the last one I was on was an f2.8. So it was basically, it was a, it was a higher aperture, which allows it to not really be good in low light. But this lens right here is really good in low light. This guy, I'm not even kidding with you guys, is probably pushing maybe seven, eight inches. How do I know? Don't ask. But the image quality is looking phenomenal. And the, like, whatever you call it, the autofocus, it's, it's looking good. Like, it's keeping track on my face. And I think it looks beautiful. So we're gonna, we're gonna go, baby. Look at that blurred background. Shit. 